Today we'll be looking at the early life and the story of Joseph Bowman, who appeared in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, and he was portrayed by Ice Cube. Now, here we look to cover the character's history and some events prior to their appearance in Call of Duty. We will briefly go over what happened during the campaign, as we've already covered the full story of Black Ops 1 in our Story So Far series. Thank you for joining me, and welcome to the early life and the story of Chief Petty Officer Joseph Bowman. Bowman was born on November 10th, 1940 in Atlanta, Georgia. And Joseph Bowman's past is relatively unknown, with only a few key factors known to the public like his birth year and birthplace, as well as the fact that his father served in the military and fought during World War II. Bowman's father would be a great influence on him, and Bowman would enlist in the Navy at just 17 years old. At some point during this, he would meet a woman and ask her for marriage and they would have a son named William. However, before they were able to officially marry, Joseph would be shipped out for a new operation. Now, on April 17th, 1961, Bowman would be a part of Operation 40, where he fought alongside Mason and Woods as they looked to kill dictator Fidel Castro of Cuba. During the op, Bowman would separate from his teammates and they would meet up after Castro was thought to be killed. However, unbeknownst to the group, a double was shot in his place, and during their attempted escape from Cuba, Mason would sacrifice himself to allow Bowman and Woods to escape. A few years later, the two would find out that Mason actually survived the sacrifice in Cuba, and Bowman would be assigned another mission with them in Baikonur, where they needed to stop the Russian Soyuz launch. Bowman would infiltrate the facility with fellow operative Terence Brooks as they were disguised as Russian soldiers. Bowman would lead a pair of guards away from the comms tower and kill them. This allowed Mason and Woods to storm the tower. Bowman and Brooks also rescued Gregory Weaver, who had been captured by Lev Gravchenko a little bit earlier and after stopping the Soyuz launch, the team would attempt their escape. However, Mason wanted to kill Dragovich, as he believed that he was nearby, and Bowman would assist Mason in the attempted assassination of Dragovich, but they were unable to confirm the kill, and after this, the team would exfil and return home. Now, five years later in 1968, Joseph Bowman would once again meet up with Mason and Woods in Vietnam after they met up there. Bowman was in Vietnam as part of a studies and observation group, and in Vietnam, Bowman would assist Mason during the Tet Offensive at Hue City and help Mason out of trouble on on more than one occasion. Bowman also participated in a clean and sweep operation to root out local Viet Cong, and during the Laos incursion, Bowman used a Grim Reaper to destroy numerous enemy positions on the river. He would locate the wreck of a Russian cargo plane, and he would help defend that plane when Russian Spetnaz tried to recapture it. However, Bowman alongside Mason and Woods would be captured and given to the Viet Cong as a gift. And during their captivity, Bowman would be sleep deprived, hungry, beaten, tortured, and abused. This would last about a week, and Bowman was no longer thinking clearly as he got it the worst out of the three captured operatives. Eventually, Bowman and Mason were sat together and forced to play a sick game of Russian roulette. Mason was desperately trying to help Bowman, but Bowman refused to participate any longer, and he would be beaten to death in front of Mason. Bowman, don't! You dead American! Последний шанс. Играй или умирай. You don't scare me. Coming is piece of shit. Bowman! Bowman! You fucking son of a bitch! Next! The team would avenge the death of Bowman, and soon after, his wife would be informed of his death, with his son William taking it the hardest, and he would eventually do his own digging into the death of his father many, many years later. Joseph Bowman was an elite operative who was often overshadowed by his more lavish or outspoken friends in Mason and Woods. But make no mistake about it, without Bowman, a lot of the missions that were successful during this time may have failed if it wasn't for the chief petty officer and his skills. Bowman is a memorable and fascinating character that on a personal note, I would have liked to see more of now in a new game with modern technology and modern graphics. But of course, with his death, that won't be possible, sadly. Thank you for joining me as this has been the life and the career of Joseph Bowman.